welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Deborah and I'm a faith-based content creator and welcome to a series that I call Faith Talks where every week I sit down, speak about a topic that the Holy Spirit is leading me to talk about and things that I believe can be very helpful on your journey with God also. So welcome. I hope you've all had a very blessed week. I've had a tough one. It was a week full of spiritual warfare, warfare that affected me physically and emotionally, which has been intense, but God really reminded me, and I want to tell you this as well, if you're in a similar season of spiritual warfare, then that's often very much because we get close to breakthroughs and the enemy freaks out. He does not want us to go where God wants us to be. So the spiritual warfare always intensifies when God is doing something new in our lives. I've really been dealing with that, but then in the midst of it, I found comfort in that. Actually, I'm going the right way. God is doing something new. Otherwise, I would not be experiencing all this oppression and all this warfare. So yeah, anyways, that's been my week. That's been something that I've been dealing with, but God has been with me through that. And this week in this week's faith talks i want to talk to you about a question that i've been asked a lot of times on my channel i talk a lot about how god has completely changed my life since i've fully dedicated my life over to him and since i've really given him my all and the main question that i've been getting from you guys is but deborah how do i give myself over to god fully how do i truly give god everything so i've gathered five answers to that question of how do we give ourselves to God fully? And I want to answer that question to you with these five answers. Number one, how do we give ourselves to God fully? I want to start by saying that in order to give yourself to God fully, you have to renew your mind every single day. Making that choice to trust God with your all is not something that you decide once and then you're set for the rest of your lives. Sadly enough, that's not how it works. In this world that we live in, everything is designed in a way to distract us away from God. Especially in this day and age, we're really encouraged to rely on self-help and rely on things of new age, on horoscopes, every everything but God. So every day you're going to feel that pull away from that decision to trust God with your all. So to combat that, you have to renew your mind every single day. You have to meditate on the other answers that I'm going to give you every single day. Okay, so I want to start there. That's number one, renew your mind every day. Number two, in order to give yourself over to God fully, you have to know him. You have to know God. You have to know his character. You have to experience him. How are you going to trust him with your life and with your all if you don't know him? If a stranger would come up to you right now and say, hey, you don't know me, but right now I am willing and able to take care of all your belongings. Let's say your house, your car, your finances, everything. This person is like, you can give them all to me while you go on holiday or something and I will take care of them. Don't worry. Wouldn't you, and I hope you would do this. I hope that you would raise your eyebrows and look at this person and say, I don't know you. So no way that's happening. You cannot entrust somebody with your all if you don't know them, I want to read to you from John 10, verse 26 to 27. It reads, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. You have to know God's voice. You are his sheep. You have to know your shepherd. You have to know your shepherd's voice. You have to spend time with him, read his word, spend time in prayer so that you will get to know him. Again, you will get to know his character. You will get to know his heart. And therefore, you'll be able to lean on him and trust him fully. And just touching on reading his word, the Bible is full of God's track record. God's track record is like a red line throughout the Bible. You can see how other people have trusted him with their life and have given themselves over to God fully. And you can see how he never fails. He never fails. When we go to get our nails done or we go to a hair salon and we go somewhere for the first time, we usually look up reviews of the place just to see what other people before us have said about this place. And then after that, we can feel comfortable 
people going somewhere if it has good reviews or if it has bad reviews. We don't trust the place and we don't go there. The Bible is a book full of five star reviews of God. You can read through it and see how he's never, ever failed. So yeah, again, in order to fully give your life over to God, you have to know him. You have to know your father. And all of this rolls into number three. As I'm speaking about this, you'll hear me say the words trust, trust, and having faith in God a lot. And that is number three. You have to trust God. How can you give him your life if you don't trust him? And again, this comes from knowing him. When you know him, when you truly know him, when you know the father, you'll learn that you can trust him. You can fully trust him. And I want to read a verse to you that's found in 1 Kings 8 verse 56. It reads, Praise be to the Lord who has given rest to his people, Israel, just as he promised. Not one word has failed of all the good promises he gave through his servant, Moses. Again, his perfect track record, not one word has failed. God's words do not return void. When God speaks something into existence, it will fulfill the purpose for which it has been sent out. In Isaiah 55 verse 11, it reads, So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Everything that God speaks will fulfill the purpose for which he had sent it. And to know what God has said about you and what he says about you and about your life, you have to read the word. You can truly, fully trust God. It might not always look like what you think it will look like because it probably won't, but God sees the full picture. He sees the bigger picture. Our lives are like those um, color in section paintings. You know those paintings when you have like little numbers, one is one color two is another color god is painting in that picture of our lives and when we're going through it to us we don't see what's happening because we're jumping from one color to the next and it doesn't look like anything but god sees the full picture when you finish those paintings it's a beautiful painting that's been worked together and everything turns out the way it's supposed to that's what it's like living and walking with god not everything is going to make sense to us in our human minds but lean not on your own understanding because god truly does know best and again you can trust him Look at his track record. His words never return void. You can trust him. Number four, how do we fully give ourselves over to God? Is that you have to shift your focus. You have to shift your focus off of all of these worldly things onto God. An example from the Bible, a story that we've pretty much all heard so many times is found in Matthew 14 verse 22 to 33 which is the story of Peter walking on water towards Jesus he was able to walk on the water without any issues without anything happening when he kept his eyes on Jesus but as soon as he started to look on the outward circumstances and on the waves and on the wind that's when he started to sink because he took his focus his eyes off of Jesus you have to keep your eyes on him for me this has truly changed everything when I am in times where I want to panic instead of panicking I drop it all and I just focus on God I just sit and read my Bible I spend time with him he will bring that peace and he will give you that reassurance of I've got this and I will instruct you on where to go next in that you have to know your weaknesses you have to know where your distractions are so for example for me it's been music I've had to cut out all secular music this year it can be social media I've had to do multiple social media fasts to keep myself in a place where I'm focused on God it can be food food can be a big distraction um, it could be Netflix, TV shows, whatever it is for you. You have to recognize that within yourself where you get distracted. You really have to cut those distractions off. You have to know for yourself what it is, where your distractions lie and where you focus on other things instead of God. Because once you start to cut those things out, you'll give space to God to come through in your life and you'll realize all the things that I'm talking about, that you can actually trust God. You'll start to know him more. You'll learn that you need to renew your mind every single day day and you'll know number five which is that God loves you so much and in order to give your life over to him fully you have to meditate on his love to get just a fraction of the realization of how much he loves you because for us in our human minds it's impossible 
to completely fathom how much God loves you. It's not possible for us to reach that. But if you could only just realize how much he loves you, just a fraction, all of the above things will come with that. You'll know that you could trust him because he loves you. You'll know that you can lean on him fully because he loves you. You'll get to know him because he loves you. You'll want to know your father because he loves you so much. You could not be loved any more or any less than you are right now. Nothing you can or will do in the future is going to take God's love away from you. I want to read to you some scripture that's found in Ephesians 3 verse 16 to 19 and it reads, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. And then the verse that comes after this is one that we all know so well, verse 20, which is now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. So Paul is saying, I pray that you may grasp how deep, how wide, how long the love of God is. His love truly is beyond anything. God's love, his perfect love casts out all fear and it really deals with so many things that we're struggling with. God's love has really been filling up the holes that have been left in my life through missing a father, for example. Those things, God's love is the only thing that can cast those things out, that can fill us up and that can make us whole. So just to recap everything that I've just said, the five answers that I've given you to that question, how do we give ourselves to God fully? Number one, you have to renew your mind every single day you have to meditate on all these answers every single day and remind yourself of these things number two you have to know God in order to fully give yourself over to him you have to know him when you know him giving yourself to him will come naturally because you know your father and that leads to number three you'll know that you can trust him he's not going to take your life and throw it away or forget about you or get distracted no you can fully fully trust him and he will not let you down and number four you have to shift your focus you have to truly shift your focus onto god onto his goodness onto his kindness on his word shift your focus on everything that's happening here in the world and in the natural onto the spiritual and onto your father and then number five meditate on his love love for you when you grasp and get that realization just a small one just a small realization of how much god loves you it truly changes everything all of the above all the above answers will also naturally come so all of them are tied in together you can't have one without the other you can't trust god without knowing him you can't know god without knowing his love for you it's all interweaved it all works together so yeah that's it for this week's faith talks video i really pray that the holy spirit will help you in these areas of your life will help you to mature in these things so that you can fully trust him the holy spirit is your helper when we are weak he is strong so you're allowed to call on him for help he is there for you i pray that he will help you in this so that you may experience a fully free life where you're able to give your life over to god over to him where he is in control and you can you can let go of that control that we so desperately want all the time so i pray that this has been a blessing to you thank you so much for watching this video there is much more coming up very soon i feel very blessed to have you here and i will see you again very soon but maybe this time that's what i get for wanting too much too